and kicking off our parade this year, the Northern Ohio Fools. They are the Northern Ohio Fools and they come every year with the Honor Guard and usually lead the parade. So we thank them for joining us. And we're pretty sure you won't be able to hear us. <laughs> In fact, we're positive you won't be able to hear us. These are all the fire departments that are participating in the parade this year, starting with your hometown Vermilion Fire Department. to you. Thank you for all you've done over the years. We know her dad is so very proud of her. By the way, we have about 150 units in the parade this year, which is a huge number, isn't it, considering all this going on? That's incredible. 150 units. Next up, we have the Amherst Veterans Military Honor Guard from where else? If they are the Amherst Veterans Military Honor Guard, you would think they're from Amherst. And they are. Welcome the Honor Guard. We're happy to have them here at the 2021 Willie Bear. Uh, we have coming through Lorraine and Erie County Sheriff's offices, the Erie County Sheriff Paul Sigsworth and Lorraine County Sheriff Phil Samitty. My mic's off. There it is. <laughs> Samitty. They are glad to be back with the Willie Bear Festival. And they thank their communities for the support they have shown. And look who else they have Yes, with them. the Gallics are here. Peggy and Ed Gallic. They are two of the nicest people you will ever meet. They almost brought their cat Pumpkin here. <laughs> we miss Pumpkin, but maybe next year. For Peggy and, and Ed, Ed Gallic, ladies and gentlemen. Two of the hardest working people you will ever meet as well. Next up, your mayor, Jim Forthover, welcoming residents and visitors to this year's Woolly Bear Festival in gorgeous, gorgeous downtown Vermilion, one of the nicest they places. They look fabulous. Huh? Don't they, they look, look great? They look fabulous. You look beautiful. And we have to say his fiance, the beautiful Sue Seaslack is with us as well, being driven by our very own Vermilion Police Chief, Chris Hartung. So a round of applause for your mayor and company right there. Oh, look who 
we have with us the friends of Dick Goddard car here. Hello, everybody. And Paco. Paco's joining us with owner Chrissy Scooter, with owner Vanessa, Zoe, with owner Robin are all there. Hi, guys. Hello. Good to see you. Hey, Nat, guess who's next? Ah, uh, look at these beautiful ladies. Uh -huh. That's Jasmine Bailey, our newest anchor at Fox 8, and also the great Jen Harcher, one of the superb meteorologists in Northeast Ohio. Welcome, Jasmine and Jen Harcher, please. Looking good, girls. Oh, no. Trouble's oh, no. coming up. Trouble's coming there up. There he is. <laughs> well John, everybody. You talk about legendary Fox 8 personalities, legendary personalities in all of Northeast Ohio. That is the man, sir, little John Rinaldi, throwing the candy. What is he throwing our way? Oh, he's throwing stickers. He's one of the greats, so give it up for little John Rinaldi. Really, they're free. Truly the best there is right there, that man. And now we have the Vermilion Festival of the Fish Royalty. And they are looking very royal today. From the 2021-2022 season, Vermilion Festival, the Fish Royalty. And we have Miss Vermilion, Diana Seawall joining us up front. And I just got to say, are you, the are wave, you trying to learn got the wave? The wave. They got the wave down. I have not mastered that. That's very... So you think Hannah so? and Natalie. Hi. Who's Natalie? I love the spelling of your name. You. like it. I feel I'm not as cool. That's... They're beautiful, though. And this is 21, uh, 2021 Princess Reese Holland and 2021 Prince Marcelo Verde. Hey guys, can you give us a grade on our wave? What How, do you think, are we girls? How is this? Uh, is it all A plus? Seriously? A plus. All right. They're clearly also very kind. <laughs> That's Bailey joining us and Marissa, Princess of the Second Attendant and Princess of the First Attendant. And look at these adorable ones. <laughs> My vision's not what it used to be. Junior Mr. Braden Cecil, Junior Miss Villamina. Villamina. Right, I got that right. Michaela, Michaela Dabbs, Dabbs. Right. Riley Moritz. Moritz. And we have Elliot Rivera. It says little Mr. Grumpy on that one. But I don't look so grumpy to he me. looks pretty happy. Looks good. Uh-oh, there uh -oh. he is. Uh-oh. That's our buddy, Fox 8 News reporter Dave Nethers and his lovely wife, Cindy. Hi, guys. One of the most dedicated team members you will find at Fox 8 right there. Dave has two sons serving in the military. We're very proud, yes. Dave Nethers and his family. They've grown up very well. I remember yes, when those kids were like a year old and now they're serving the United States of America. That's just fantastic. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> Jack just, he's rolling up the window. You Jackie, <laughs> come on, it's Jack. Jack Shay! He's such a good guy, such a talented guy. Now, and he's rolling up the windows. <laughs> he, he looks, look at how handsome Jack, he looks in that shirt come of on. He looks good. <laughs> That's Jack Shea, everybody. Jack is modest. He's a good man. And look who's here now. Melissa Reed with her beautiful babies. Hi. Hi, Teddy. Teddy and Willa. Hi, guys. Hi, Lala. Great to see oh. Melissa Reed. There he is. Now, let me tell you, this is one of our, our newbies here, but he fits right in, doesn't he, Joe Tui? Look at him in the chair in the back of the truck. Joe. He's all by himself. He didn't know he could bring candy. He said, we're technically, I don't think, allowed, but... The good thing about we, Joe... We have rule breakers. He is a young man unlike me, so he'll be here for the next 30 or 40 Wooly Bear Parades, and I think that's a big good deal. Good to see you, Joe. Joe Tui, everybody. Maya Belai joining us next, and she also is a rule breaker throwing the candy, but it's okay, because she's Maya Belai. She can get away with anything. Has a great smile. That's her husband, Wiley. We welcome them to the 2021 Woolly Bear Parade. Why don't you handle this? This is uh, very significant. We got a Neil bee hanging Zerker. out here. Give Hello. it up for Neil Zerker. One of the all-time legends of yep. boxing, yep. Neil Zerker. He 
was the original host of the One Tank Trips at Fox 8. You guys all know that. He hosted the show for an amazing 34 years until he retired in 2017. Bonnie, his wife, was joining him there, and their son, Craig. Craig traveled with his father for eight years when he was young and appeared on many of those One Tank Trips. And a fun fact he wanted us to share for the Woolly Bear Festival, it began in Neil's living room way back in 1971. Can you believe that? Wow. He's another one of those TV legend in Northeast Ohio. This is the Amvest Post 22, the Ladies Auxiliary from Vermilion, representing the Department of Ohio. Ladies Auxiliary is President Deb Schur, and from the Amvest Post 22, Ladies Auxiliary is President Barb Vander Sluice. I was close. I gave it the, the old college try there. <laughs> And first vice, that's Michelle Horner. The Ladies Auxiliary keeps busy year-round with projects that support our veterans, and we certainly do love that. So Wonderful. thank you. All right, those bikes are looking good. Up next, we have. <laughs> up next, we have the Vermilion. VFW Riders Post 7576 Motorcycle Group. Hello, gentlemen. Their main goal is supporting our veterans. They strongly support the Valor House. It's a home for veterans that have no place to go after they were discharged from the US military. And Valor Home helps train veterans in the workforce, helps them find employment, helps them find a place to live. So the Vermilion VFW Riders are a large part of their support and we thank them for what they are doing for our veterans. And as an aside, that is some cycle. I'm loving that. That's, that's very nice. Good job. Next up, the Vermilion Girl Scouts from Vermilion. Like campfires and marshmallows, Girl Scouts are better together. And I have Help the Girl Scouts out my entire life buying those Girl Scout cookies. You and me both. Love the Samoas best. I don't know about you, but those Samoas are very good. I would Thanks agree. for coming. Can't turn them down. And not when you see these adorable little faces, too. Hi, girls. American Legion Post 397 celebrating 101 years. The American Legion Post 397 family consisting of Tommy Graham, commander of regulars, Shaleen Kilbride, president of the auxiliary, Dan Schultz, commander of sons, Joan McGurr, director of riders, all veterans and their families are welcome to join us anytime. We're always looking for new members. I have been telling my lovely bride I want a motorcycle for about 30 years now, and she's always said I can't have one. I think it's time. Yes, yes. Who can't fall for that? Huh? That's great. One day, maybe one day, I'll get my own motorcycle. It's called the Boozy Buggy. Who do we find but Melissa Mack and Andre Bernier? And let us oh not God. forget, let My us Jet. not forget, that's Melissa's handsome My son. Jet. That is Chet. Give it up for Jet, Jet, Andre, and Melissa right now. How about that, Chet? Hi, guys. Where, where, where would we be without these meteorologists, guys? We need them. This is uh, Vermilion American Legion Post 397. All veterans and their families are now eligible to join. Thank you guys very much. American Thank Legion you. Post 397. All right. This next car might be filled with a little bit of trouble here. Uh -oh. Fox 8 Tones, uh -oh. your PJ Ziegler right there, everybody. Give it up for PJ. So wait, P PJ's not the only one in this car, folks. So 
This is the 1969 Chevelle SS driven by Tom and Linnell Genovese. I have to say, this is Tom Genovese, everyone. Tom Genovese, for fuck's sake. The best photog. PJ. That you will ever find. I just had to make sure none of our other photogs were around. PJ, you know better than anyone that the Browns are playing today a big game on the West Coast. What was your prediction for the Browns game? 20 to 17 Browns. 20 to 17 Browns. Let us hope PJ is right about that. Another one of the good guys from Fox 8. That's PJ Ziegler. Well, the good guys. That car is spiffy. That's uh, PJ's partner in crime, Fox 8 sports anchor, John Tellett. You talk about legends in the community. He certainly is that. John has announced his retirement coming up next year, but he's promised to hang around and help us yes. out whenever he possibly can. And we're all delighted to know that. Give it up for another one of the great guys, one John Tellett. One of the Tellich. greatest legends of all time. Yep. We love you, Johnny. A lot of people have been asking if they can get pictures with you this year, so you got to stick around. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh -oh. Troublemaker here. This is the troublemaker. Scott Sable, everybody! One of the hardest working meteorologists in TV that you will ever find. How many hits do we think you do every morning? Like 50 something? About 50 something. And even, doesn't sleep. even the weather people will tell you when it comes to statistics and what's going on with yes. the weather over the past decades, that guy seems to know. You can't ask him a weather question or even has to look it up. He just knows no, everything. He's a numbers guy and it's pretty impressive. Todd Meany, everybody! <laughs> who, was, who was listening? Did you guys hear Todd earlier? They were performing earlier today. And hey, Smaller, come where's on. Where's the next show? He doesn't know yet. But trust me, he's all over town, folks. And if you haven't heard his band play, you got to watch Ace Moeller as well. Yeah, they are fantastic. And Todd got up very, very early, early morning to do this. Uh, David Grayson, the MD from Wakeman, is in that car. It's immaculate. 1952 Ford three-quarter ton pickup. All its original except for added seat belts and signal lights. It's owned and driven today by Dr. Grayson from Wakeman. All right, do we have to put our shades on because this guy's stars are so bright we don't know what to do. Gabe Spiegel, everyone, and Eli Spiegel, probably the bigger star of the show. Eli Spiegel! Wait, what? Look at that hairdo, folks. Look at that do. Gabe, as you know, does a lot of horrible jokes. He sent me one in today, Give us, Natalie. What, you have one? It says, you know how a banana answers the phone? How? Yellow. <laughs> That's Gabe Spiegel. That's as good as it gets. <laughs> and we were, seeing we were seeing beauty queens earlier. This is one that was a little uh, later on is. in the show. Elizabeth Dureka, everybody, and her amazing husband, who also is a, an incredible police officer, Josh, joining us as well today. So we thank him for his service. And Liz, we love you. They own a pickup truck, so I'm sure they're happy and very <laughs> comfortable to be riding in that pickup truck today. Whoa! Oh no! Whoa, that's huge. <laughs> Wolford. Wolford the Wooly Bear. Wolford He's the Wooly Bear is here. Later, I can tell. We're ready for it. Got to be a little warm there, Wolford, today. So hang in there. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Another thing I've always wanted, and maybe my wife will let me go for this one day as a Corvette. This is the Ultravet Corvette Club from South Euclid. I'm sorry, from South Amherst. The Ultravets were founded in 1978 by a group of local Corvette owners. Today, there are 20 members with Corvettes ranging from 1954 to 2021. Members participate in shows, cruises, parades, dinners, and they attend national Corvette meets. Beautiful American vehicles, isn't it? Those are spiffy looking cars. Mm -hmm. I think one time I drove in one of them for the parade, but I brought my dog with me and they they almost had a heart attack. I had to put I had to put towels everywhere just to make sure we were okay. Boy, since the very beginning, I think it was the late 1950s, been a superstar vehicle, and it certainly Look, continues to this day. Boy. Aren't they great? They're beauties. Look at that multicolored one. next 
folks here from Lakewood. So since 2004, Ken Bach at, is serving today as Lieutenant General U.S. Grant. He's been coming to the Woolly Bear Festival since 2004, and he is joined by Chris, and he's also joined by Maz Gent um, Sherman. And as we remember the Woolly Bear legend Dick Goddard and helping us keep his legacy alive, we wanted one more time to say, and there is General Grant and General Sherman, <laughs> and we are so glad that you could be with us today. So thank you, Dick Goddard, for that. Very, very much. And next up, this is Brittany Hilton. Brittany is a Cleveland-based female illusionist, celebrity impost impersonator, and professional entertainer driven by local actor and executive recruiter Jason Botsford. Saw them before the parade. Nice to see you both again. Both are animal rights activists and yes. longtime friends of Dick Goddard and, of course, the late, great Dick Goddard. How many years have you guys been doing this parade? Thirteen. Thirteen. And going strong. Hopefully many, many more. And that's a beautiful jaguar right there, too. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> All right, coming up next in this beautiful rocky ride here is the 2021 Wooly Bear Pet Parade winner. Wendy and Larry Bissett, and that is Sprinkle, everyone. Aww. She is a long-haired chihuahua. You must say ah when you see that. Look at her. Oh, is she precious. Thank you. And congratulations. Oh, wow, what a great picture. Look at that. That's beautiful. Next up, from the friends of Jerry Kyle in Vermilion, Jerry Kyle for mayor of Vermilion. Jerry is a long time resident, a lifelong resident of Vermilion. He joined and operated Kyle Buick Pontiac in Vermilion. He's asking Vermilion residents for their vote on November 2nd. He promises to run the city with honesty and integrity, with teamwork, and his business background will take Vermilion to the very next level. Look up jerrykyleformayor.com. And next up, we have the Kingston Healthcare from Vermilion. Kingston and Vermilion offers skilled care. They have long-term care, respite, and outpatient therapy. So Kingston residents of Vermilion offering assisted living, but also offering us with their smiles today. We thank you for joining us. And they have handed us a bunch of Frisbees, and I don't have the courage to and the belief one. in my talents you to You might take out one of them. our friends. Yeah, I don't want to get anybody that. injured here, but shortly we're gonna try this. I'm gonna try. All what right. All right. All right. Why don't, why don't we see if you can get it in the the bus door right there? I'm gonna I'm skip sorry. the bus, but I'm gonna as soon as the bus is done, I'm gonna try our first frisbee. What do you think? I think you should go for it, Lou. I'm a little nervous. Who wants to try to catch this? I'm a little tense right now. A little under the gun. This is what we call pressure, Natalie. Ready? It's Three. It's scaring me. Two. It's scaring me too. Three. <laughs> wow. Nice job. For nice. a Lou Maglio nice. toss, I say, give it up for me. Way Come on. Go, I shocked myself. It's not bad, Sandy. The only thing better than tossing Frisbees is having Girl Scout cookies thrown our way. So <laughs> coming up next here, we have the Girl Scout Troop 50426, Austin Lawrence, Main Street Soda Grill, and Home Style Home Improvements from Lorraine. This incredible troupe is thanking all of the local businesses for their donations and support to create this really awesome float that they have so that they can show off their talents. The troupe strives to provide, uh, provide assistance to their community and these businesses are doing that as well. So Austin Lawrence Soda Grill Homestyle, they've made another adventure possible. Wonderful. Next up, from Avon Lake Post 211 of the American Leader Legion Riders from LaGrange. Riders from Avon Lake American Legion comprise the veterans, their families, supporters. All right, and those gorgeous motorcycles. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Hello. He's rubbing up that engine. Nice. We love that sound. Murray Ridge Center. 
the Lorraine County Board of Developmental Disabilities joining us. Moraine Ridge Center and Lorraine County Board of Developmental Disabilities have been helping people with developmental disabilities to live, work, and play in their community for more than 50 years. You got it. And we see them here every year. What a great organization that is. And what a nice woolly bear they brought along with them today. Great job. Couple of woolly bears. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. It's 95, 95.5, the fish. We listen to the fish all the time, by the way. 95.5, the fish has been inspiring Northern Ohio with music that lifts you up for the past 20 years. Tune in and make it a great day every day. 95.5, the fish, and they are very, very dedicated to all of Northeast Ohio. Thank you guys for Thank being you. here with us today. They're playing the good music, too. Uh oh, I got another one, Nat. I'm going to try another one. Ready over here, next frisbee? All right, here we go. Here we go. Make sure you get this on. This is live. Here we go. No second chance. Stand by, everybody. Here comes. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no. Did anybody get hurt? I think so. I think we're safe. Long as no, we're safe. I took okay. out the light, but that's okay. That one got out of control. All right, guys, we have up next the Erie County Fair Royalty. How beautiful do they all look? This is from Sandusky. So 2021 Erie County Fair Royalty, the 2021 fair we have here, Queen Madeline Thayer, Junior Miss Edie Solette, and their courts, Little Prince Miles Nickel, and Little Princess Jesse Wensing. And they would like to invite you to the 2022 Erie County Fair to be held at the beginning of August. So plan, plans have already begun for the next year's fair and they hope to see everyone there for the 2022 Erie County Fair. Natalie, we have a very brief respite here. So I say it's Natalie Herbig's time to toss okay. the Frisbee. This could be and hopefully really, she'll do better than my last effort. This could be really bad and I might pull something. Try our best. Here we go. I don't. I can't tell you the last time I threw a frisbee. About 20 years Ready? for me. Ready? Wow, nice. And a nice. catch. A completed pass. Hopefully, we'll see many of those from the Browns today. That was very good. Give it up for Nat, the frisbee queen. This is Echoing Hills Village of Northern Ohio. Another story. They're from Lorraine. Echoing Hills has been serving and supporting individuals with developmental disabilities for more than 50 years. The services in Lorain County range from community living to educational adult day services, providing the opportunity to build independent living skills as they move forward in living their very best life. Oh, oh my gosh. I, this, oh, this takes the cake. Look at this. This Whoa. is pause on wheels, folks, from Maslin. Jamie and Rhonda Hollinger and their furry little friends known as Paws on Wheels, who are very famous, we hear, throughout Northeast Ohio for their excellent behavior. That is impressive <laughs> and the cutest thing I've ever seen. And speaking of well-behaved animals, well-behaved dogs. We have Sit Mean Sit Dog Training right here. They are from nearby Amherst. Sit Mean Sit Dog Training is revolutionizing the quality of life with happy, obedient, confident dogs with the quickest, most effective way. Sit Mean Sit's industry-leading results will help you achieve the maximum control of your dog, both on and off the leash. We don't train husbands, wives, or kids, but maybe one day they will. But these dogs, very it would be not good if they misbehave today. Well, that would not be a good thing, but they're very well behaved. Obviously, whatever they're doing works. Okay, up next we have the Berlin Heights Basket Festival group. They're from Berlin Heights, and the Berlin Heights Fe Basket Festival is held the first full weekend of August every year, so they would love to see everyone in 2022. In the wonderful car, we have Queen Mariska, 2020, 2019 rather, Queen Grace, our Prince 
Carter and Princess Anastasia, Little Miss Natalie, and Little Master Colin. Next up, give it up for the Mill Manor Care Center from Vermilion. Mill Manor Care Center is a five-star, privately owned and operated 33-bed skilled nursing facility located in Vermilion. Mill Manor has varying care levels available, including short-term rehab, long-term care, and adult daycare services as well. Quality care is the difference. traveled a long way to get here today, so we thank you yes. very much for that. Next up from Vermilion is Shore Nutrition, located in the South Shore Plaza, providing a healthy alternative to fast food, offering one-on-one -on -one coaching and meal planning as well. business owner running for governor of Ohio in 2022. He is not a politician. He is a grassroots constitutional conservative who believes in less government and less taxes. Woo! I think a lot of folks are excited about that one. And he believes in our constitutional right and will work to protect those rights. So Joe Blystone, everyone. My next Frisbee toss is coming up here shortly. Stand by. Raise your hand if you're interested in capturing one of these. All right, all right. I can't get that far with this, as I proved last time. Natalie, I uh, really yeah. didn't do very well last he, time. He so just, he's try trying this. to outshow me now. Oh, couldn't. You were perfect. Here it comes, guys. That's much better. There, much better. It's floating. It's floating. And, of and course, right it goes the right in front of the van. Not, not my best. Again. So I'm one out of three. One out of three ain't bad. Prepare to be scared. We have the Edgewater Funhouse joining us. Vermillion's free haunted house. The Edgewater Funhouse is, a, it's a pleasure, first of all, to see all of you guys joining us today. It's a free Halloween celebration in the haunted house and they're right on Edgewater Drive in Vermillion. Next up from Coshocton, we have the Coshocton Canal Queen. Another long journey to get here today, which we thoroughly do appreciate. Coshocton Canal Queen Lindsay Stonebreaker represents the Apple Butter Stern Festival, which is being held on October 15th to the 17th in historic Roscoe Village, Ohio. Wonderful. Welcome, Welcome Lindsay. These are the folks we need for cleaning. Absolutely. Fitz's these days. Trash Bin Cleaning from North Ridgeville joining us today. Fitz's Trash Bin Cleaning is the first trash bin cleaning in Vermilion and surrounding areas, killing 99% of bacteria and eliminating all those pesky odors. And number 96 coming up right now is Ghostbusters Cleveland from Lakewood, Ohio. Who are you going to call? Well, you're going to call Ghostbusters Cleveland, of course. This official Sony Ghost Corp local fan group celebrates all things related to the Ghostbusters films, and they were a lot of fun, weren't they? They bring proton packs, ghost traps, and paranormal fun to all area events, parade, and festivals, and help raise awareness and money for local charitable causes. That's wonderful. Ninety-seven here in our car, we have American Excellence Pageants from Monroeville, the 2020-2021 Young Miss Huron County, Lily Miller, and Teen Miss Huron County, Riley Richardson. Look at that wave, you're so precious. American Excellence is a natural pageant that promotes self-confidence and is low stress. So be sure to go to AmericanExcellencePageant.com to see any of the upcoming pageants and events that they have scheduled. 
Next up, we have Jill Trees for kids, Vermilion School Board candidate. Ahoy Sailors, we have Jill Schaefer Trees and family, a candidate for the Vermilion School Board. Jill is a graduate of Vermilion and is committed to representing everybody in the district fairly, respectfully, and with an objective point of view. She's experienced and trusted leader in our community. And Clyde Fair is next here. We have the 2021-22 Clyde Fair Queen, L. Coffrin. The Clyde Fair is held the third week in September, and the events that they have scheduled are the annual go-kart races, the Alexa Brown 5K, Kitty Pedal Pulls, Kids Power Wheel Derby, the Classic Car Show, and the Baby Contest. So they would love for everyone to come and enjoy many food vendors and rides in Clyde, Ohio. Thank you for coming from Clyde. And this is the Oak Harbor Apple Festival. The Oak Harbor Apple Festival Queen Taylor Lenke and her court would like to invite everybody to the Oak Harbor Apple Festival, which was held the second full weekend in October in historic downtown Oak Harbor. Enjoy live entertainment, grand parade, arts, crafts, festival, live demonstrations, and more. And there's that wonderful wave all over again. They've all mastered it today, Natalie. They got it down pat. We'll, we'll learn a day or two, maybe Lou. All right, bring it on. This is the Euclid High School Marching Band, the Marching Panthers from Euclid. The Euclid High School Marching Band is under the direction of Sarah Renetta Struthers, Assistant Director Deshaun Howard, Auxiliary Director Timothy Tibbs, Assistant Auxiliary Director Angel Tyson, and Percussion Director Daryl Moore. Their accolades include two first place trophies for the percussion and auxiliary sections. Let's give them a round of applause for the music. And of course we pride ourselves on being Cleveland's own. Our John Tillage is a proud graduate yes, of Euclid High School, yep, just a couple of years ago. Not that many. Just a couple of years, maybe four or five years. Something like that. Studio School of Photography. Ripco Studio of Photography School of Photography is located in Cleveland. Look at that nice picture of Dick Guider right there that. on the side. That's that great. Cool van. They've been photographing uh, Vermilion City Schools for over 30 years now. Ripco Studio loves Vermilion. Also aboard the Ripco Studio, Wooly Bear Bus, retired Cleveland Fire Department Captain Kevin Calloran, and retired FBI Ice Agent Patrick Sweeney. All right, my ladies in pink. The Pink Ladies Baton Corps from Middleburg Heights. The Pink Ladies are celebrating 20 years of twirling with athletes from all over Northeast Ohio. They are led by coaches Rosanna, Rosanna, I'm sure I'm going to butcher her last name. Look, they all just laugh at her head. all the time, yeah, yeah, we know, we know that. <laughs> and, and Jill is also their coach as well, and they offer recreation and competition level classes. They participate in parades all over Ohio, but the Wooly Bear Parade is their favorite. And they promise us phonetic spelling next year. I think we need that. Sandy points out the Wooly Bear Chair, which has been another, there's so many legends, but that Wooly Bear Chair has been around a long time, is here again, right front and center at the parade route. A lot of people sat in that, took photo ops the last few years. It's Ramona Smith from Lorraine. The grandchildren and I celebrating the memory of Dick Goddard and the Wooly Bear, the animals his law has saved. So give it up for them. Dick is so proud of uh, the Wooly Bear and the festival itself, but also Goddard's Law, which is protecting companion animals. A great guy. He fought for that for many, many years. Up next, we have the Castalia Cold Creek Celebration. Castalia is what I meant to say. <laughs> the Cast 
Castalia Cold Creek celebration in, of course, Castalia, Ohio, which makes perfect sense. And their celebration is held the third weekend in July. Attending today is their queen, Malaya Alley, and first runner-up, Madeline Grimm, Junior Miss Isabella Sanchez, and Little Miss Ruthie Theon there, too. Next, from Oberlin, the Futuristic Baton and Drum Corps. Futuristics Baton and Drum Corps proudly marching in our fourth year, offering quality baton and drum instruction to all local and surrounding area youth. We're super excited to be able to perform for you today in your wonderful Woolly Bear Parade and Festival. Look how young they are and so good. Frisbee. Before you hit, we don't, yeah. I don't want to hit that nice the, the gentleman there. All right. I'm going to have to curb this, which makes the degree of difficulty even Can higher. Move? Here we go. I'm going to try it lower this time. Oh, okay. my goodness. Okay. Not okay. even okay. close. No, that was good, Lou. At least, well, it was aiming about 40 feet away, There's though. There's a bee in your a hair. There's a bee in your hair. Wait, stop. i got to get it really. Got it. <laughs> and you didn't get stung. That's good. <laughs> a good time. We got plenty more to do. Wanted to thank our sponsors again, Pat O'Brien Chevrolet, American Demolition, the Ohio Lottery, Discount Drug Mart, and you are pointing to Fox 8. We're happy to be one of the sponsors again this year. And also we have the stage sponsors as well. Yes, so can't forget about Domino's Pizza, the Holiday Inn Express, Don Parsons Inc. We have L&M Towing and Repair because you never know when you might need them. The Morning Journal, JJ Sales, Vermilion Photo Journal, and German's Villa Party Center as well. Next up, the Rising Sun Centers from Wakeman. Rising Sun Centers provides day services to individuals with developmental disabilities to surrounding counties. for all that you do. Thank you. Next up, American Heritage Girls Troop, Ohio 4120 from Vermilion. Girls Troop is excitedly seeking girls ages 5 to 18 and adult volunteers too for their non-denominational Christian scouting group. Our girls learn about God's awesome love for them, strengthen friendships and enjoy outdoor adventure, practice new skills and learn amazing Badges earn them every single week. Reach higher with A H G. You toss it out, Candy. <laughs> and up next we have the Vermilion High School Bicycle Co-op. From Vermilion, the VHS Bikes is a collective of students, staff, and community members based at Vermilion High School. And it's a unique bike co-op that works to offer refurbished bicycles, bicycle services and also education to the greater Vermilion community while providing practical work experience for high school students. So great job, guys. Next, introducing the 2021 Huron County Horse Royalty Court. We present to you our queen, Jaden Zaleski. The king is Mason Hickman. Princess is Micaiah, I hope, Roblero, and our prince, Connor Dunsing. We invite you all to extend the, attend the 2022 Huron County Fair and to check our exciting horse program. 
Uh-oh. Oh, I'm getting scared now. I'm a little nervous here. We have the Haunted Hydro Dark Attraction uh -oh. Park joining Look us Look out, everybody. Now. And they are also joined by sister business, Ghoul Running's Kayak Adventures. They're from Clyde. And they want you all to come get scared. Be prepared to get scared at the Haunted Hydro in Fremont, Ohio. This is their 32nd season of Screams. And you can go to the Mega Haunted Experience in the Montrous Wood Survive Panic Alley, is what it's called. And if you want more information, you can go to thehauntedhydro.com. And like Crazy Bob always says, uh, never ever come alone. Also want to tell you about Ghoul Running Kayak Adventures in Fremont, Ohio. Come relax on the Fremont Reservoir. Take a trip down the Sandusky River. Rent a kayak by the hour at the reservoir. And also join us for a sunset event. Come down to the river for moonlight trips and other themed events. Check us out at Facebook or at www.ghoulrunnings.com. And we have a fun group from LaGrange right now, the Lorraine County Metro Parks. There they are. So they are the Lorraine County Metro Parks, we're told, has nearly 11,000 acres and a park for everyone to enjoy. You can find trails to hike, bike, go to the ponds, the rivers, the lakefront, all to do some great exploring. You can enjoy nature nearby at the Lorraine County Metro Parks. So thank you guys. Hopefully he can apply Photoshop to make me look a little bit better. Yeah, we, you need to send that to us, Rob. You can't possibly look good when you pose next to Natalie Herbert, oh, okay. but whatever. It is what it is. Next up, DMK Productions, daughter of the Ghoul Show from North Olmsted. Newest horror host show in Cleveland, Ohio, can be seen on four public access cable stations in Northeast Ohio. We're kind of having a theme There's here a theme. right now. Right. They're trying to scare us. Here we go. There's the truck. This is haul over dumpster rental and junk removal. Matt, is that you behind the wheel, Matt? There he is. There. Haul over dumpster rental and junk removal proudly serves Lorraine, Erie, and Huron counties for dumpster rental or junk removal needs. You can call the number right there on the back of the truck, 440-213-9220. Hallover Dumpster Rental and Junk Removal. Thanks, Matt. And Natalie, this has always amazed me every single year. And I think, could I ever learn to do that? And the answer is absolutely not. Look at these. You've Look got at this. to be kidding Check me. it out. You've got to be kidding me. St. Helens Unicycle Drill Team from Burton. We are a unicycle drill team. We ride and perform very simple, but what they do is not simple at all. It's unbelievable, right? It's unbelievable. I don't, there's, I don't think there's any amount of training that could help me. There's no that. way. There's no way. I know you uh, start small and you're supposed to get bigger and bigger. I couldn't do that for a, for I'm a second. I'm just blown away right now. <laughs> oh, it's, it, it's nerve wracking to watch. Look at this. Now would be a very bad time to throw my Frisbee, right? Yeah, yeah, that yeah, would yeah. not be an intelligent move on my part. So I'm just let them do their thing. You think you have a talent and then you look at someone like that. <laughs> and you think, okay, there's no talent here. That's impressive. They do. They deserve a big round of applause. And Natalie, as the weather gets better and better, it was drizzling a little bit before, but now it's about, I don't know, 75 degrees. Skies look pretty good, all things considered. The sun so, is shining. Yep. We take a hey, second. there's still so much more to do today, a too, lot Lou. More. Yeah, we just want to thank everybody again for coming out. The crowd is great. It's wonderful. We missed you. We missed you a lot last year, and I know you all miss your festival, but it's great to be back. So just a reminder... The finals of the Woolly Bear 500 Caterpillar race and official Woolly Bear will be announced at 4 p.m. on the back on the main stage, so keep that in mind. And then the winter weather prediction based on the colors of the Woolly Bear will be right between like 4.45 and 5 o'clock, so don't miss that as well. I asked Andre to give us a hint, and he said the winter would be cold, and I go, well, Andre, you know, that's really not a whole lot of detail. It's not very special for Northeast Ohio, but they said they had to inspect the woolly bears to find out for sure, so we look forward to that later on this afternoon. Oh, 
This is an exciting flow coming down right now. This is Bible Walk. So if you are looking for the largest biblical wax museum in the world, featuring 325 life-sized wax figures and 100 scenes, you do not have to look too far because it is closer than you might think. It's in Mansfield, and it is home to the Bible Walk. You can visit them at BibleWalk.us. And this next very large vehicle here is from the Lorraine County Engineer in Elyria, the Lorraine County Engineer. Ken Carney is keeping your roads safe, and they'll be busy this winter. They always oh, are, right? Yes. It's pretty impressive if you've ever been in one of those when they're doing the snow removal. It's, it's not as easy as you no, might think. It's very hard. It's very scientific these yes. days, too. they got cameras everywhere, so they do a great job keeping us safe every winter. We have now the Lone Rangers 4-H Club. They're from Norwalk. The Lone Rangers 4-H Club is from Huron County, and their fair is in August. The theme this year was Cows, Kids, Oh Wow. Their club advisors are Rhea Dixon, Yolanda Dixon, and Cassandra Dixon, and they are excited to be here for the 49th Bully Bear Festival. So thank you for joining us. This is the Tiffin Seneca Heritage Festival, Megan Shands, 2021 Tiffin Seneca Heritage Festival. Petite Princess Kara Brown, who's the first attendant. Cadis Brown, which is the first attendant. This is the Deputies Baton and Drum Corps from Amherst. Deputies Baton and Drum Corps, rich in tradition and legacy. They are excited to be celebrating their 40th anniversary this year. They march to the beat of their famous percussion unit, the Deputy Dogs. Deputies are the current Twirl Mania Parade Corps champions. Their group motto is, once a deputy and always a deputy. This is Let's Get Real Incorporated from Lorraine. They are a community recovery organization, and kids really do rock, don't they? Yeah. And we love you tie dyes. Very nice. Wow, that's really amazing. I'm reading all of their signs. Thank you. That's. 
That's incredible. This is the old Canal Days Festival royalty from Canal Fulton again. The wave. How long does it take you to learn that? Not very long. Okay, it's taking me a long time though. April Franks and her court would like to welcome you to join their festival, which is held the second weekend in July in historic Canal Fulton, Ohio. What are you gonna call when you have problems at home? H Jacks Plumbing and Heating Company, of course. Out of Wycliffe, H Jacks wants to be your plumber for over 40 years and two generations now. H Jacks Plumbing and Heating Company is available 24 7 for all of your plumbing and HVAC needs. Hello to our H Jack crews. to stop for a second. Oh, oh, we're good. We are good. West Lafayette homecoming from West Lafayette. Homecoming royalty would love to invite you all to beautiful Coshocton County for the last weekend in July for great entertainment, fireworks, and other Famous fireman's french fries. They hope to see you there. <laughs> the Hattie Larlam Foundation is joining us right now from Manaway. They are celebrating 60 years of providing services for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. And the Diamond Anniversary Raffle is taking place Saturday, October 23rd. And the grand prize is a 2021 Buick Encore GX. That's pretty impressive right there. That's it right there. Wow. HattieLarlam.org and then backslash Diamond Raffles where you go if you would like to potentially win a beautiful new car. And as all of you have heard by now, there's a race for the U.S. Senate, which is really starting to heat up even as we speak. Has been for a while, actually. This is Gibbons for Ohio. Mike Gibbons is a lifelong Ohioan, born in Cleveland, raised in Parma. Mike is running for Senate because he believes in the American dream and wants to work to preserve that opportunity for future generations. Mike and his wife, Diane, live in Fairview Park. And they have been very busy over the years with not one, not two, but five children. That'll wow. keep anybody busy. Sparkle Nation, I see the sparkles from here. Kelly Gregory is the 2021 Miss Sparkle Nation and everyone at Sparkle Nation strives to inform, empower, and inspire. Hello. To find out more you can find Ka about Kelly and where you can find her, she'll tell you about her Sparkle Nation. Um, so make sure that you give her a chat, catch up with her when she's done with the parade, and she hopes that you have a sparkling day. So I'm driving out here in the rain today, and now I'm wearing my sunglasses, and it's so nice. What a wonderful day it is. Domino's Pizza in the house. Your local Domino's is proud to be a part of the Vermilion community. They offer fundraising and special event pricing, so stop by for more details and some good pizza. I know that face. I know that face too. That's Bernie Marino for Ohio. Bernie Marino's a first time candidate and is running as a Republican, United States Senate. Bernie's the only Senate oh. candidate who's employed thousands of Ohioans. Though he's certainly messing up our table right now, Natalie. He's not accepting any corporate PAC money recently returned from the southern border. You learn all you need to know about Bernie Marino at BernieMarino.com. All right. 
Let's get it, guys. This is the Great Geauga County Fair from Chesterland. Robert is the 2021 Junior Fair King for the Great Geauga County Fair, where he has been a member of the fair for 14 years, showing turkeys and cute little ducks, too. And we have the Queen, Brittany Adams. Brittany Adams is the Queen, <laughs> and joining us as well. Since mobile data is turned off. All right, there's a the smooth moves. <laughs> I'm loving that. I'm loving that dance. Uh -oh. This is the Vermilion Marina from Vermilion. Marina's new boat on trailer decorated in black and orange. And I think you all know the reason why. It is Wooly Bear Sunday. That's a very nice boat. Strong 2021 will compete in Las Vegas in November for Miss Yay! for America Strong. Dana's platform is core, creating opportunity and readiness in education. Was inspired by David Snell and is the motivation and drive for her reign. Give it up, Dana Brown, a native of right here in Vermilion. And to add on to that, Eva Lou, Kristen Halchin is our current. Mrs. Ohio America 2021 and will join Dana in Las Vegas to compete for the title of Mrs. America. Kristen is wife to Dr. Matthew Haltron and the mother of three to Harper, Harlow, and Matt. Her platform, The Dolly Effect, empowers women to be everything they were never supposed to be. I love that. You can follow their journey to Vegas on Facebook and Instagram with the hashtags crown the teacher and hashtag the Dolly Effect. So to both of our beautiful ladies, we wish you the best. We know you'll do well in Vegas. And next up, the Milan Melon Festival. Come to Milan Labor Day weekend for our watermelon sherbet and cantaloupe ice cream. Ooh, that sounds well, that good. Sounds <laughs> Queen Evelyn Gall, first attendant, Madison. Madison, pronounce your last name for me. Chaput. Did I get it right? Yeah, second attendant. Livy Lowry. This is the Milan Labor Day weekend for the watermelon sherbet and cantaloupe ice cream event. Ooh, ooh, that sounds amazing. And this looks like a fun crew. I love that there happens to be a dog on the horse. What's with all these well-behaved dogs? I, I mean, in my lifetime, we struggle to get dogs to behave. And look at these guys. And look at how beautiful Calm, these horses relax. are. Relax. This is the BS Performance Horses from Berlin Heights. They do training, sales, lessons, and trail riding. <laughs> I just can't get over it. <laughs> Those are some beautiful horses. Very handsome. And the little ponies coming. We're already hearing the how cute chants for this. This is from Schaefer's Hoofprint Farm in Vermilion. Vermilion, Aiden and Alex Schaefer from Hoofprint Farm on Cemetery Road in Vermilion. They're driving their two miniature horses. Their names are Topaz and Twilight. And they are cute. They're adorable. And they have some good guidance by the boys on the hay. Mm-hmm. And now we have the Clearview Stables joining us today from Wakeman. At Clearview Stables, they provide lessons, horse leases, and on October 31st, they're having a Halloween horse show and a costume show, so they would love for everyone to come out and join.
Let's give a big round of applause for our cleanup crew to make sure they keep Vermillion looking tidy after all of this. And Daniel's son. gonna take over someday. Always nice to embarrass <laughs> these poor young boys, right? Vermilion, yeah, Vermilion police. Police chief captain is there. Hi, Jimmy Graham. We're all behaving today. <laughs> he's got eyes on us. He said he's looking at us. They really make this possible every year. The yes. Vermilion Police Department do a great job keeping officers. everybody safe and everybody organized, and we really do appreciate all that they do. Well, thank you guys for joining us. I can't believe it's over.